That's a big night for Britain's footballers at the Olympics. They need a point against Uruguay to reach the quarterfinals. Steve Lee is in Cardiff for us. Steve. Welcome back to Cardiff. The atmosphere is building. 69,000 fans for tonight's uh, GB versus Uruguay game. And two of the most decorated fans have got to be uh, Dan and Joe, brother and sister. Dan, where, where do you come from? Uh, we, I've come from Bristol. She's come from Oxford today. And uh, how long did it take you to get dressed up like that? <laughs> Not as long as you'd imagine. I had a friend who was just sitting in the pub and just decided to buy some face paint and uh, have a go. I'm not sure what good job he did. I can't really see it, but I, I, I've been told it looks okay. But... And Joe, have you bought into this whole GB thing? I mean, yeah. national rivalries put aside? Yeah, I quite like it. I think it's really good for like national pride and just getting everyone together and enjoying the fact that despite the fact we have a recession, everyone can just have fun and enjoy the Olympics. So yeah, it's great. Dan, we've had two uh, gold medals today. Can we build on that with a fantastic win tonight against Uruguay? I would like to think so. I have to say with Spain going out, it really means the football is absolutely wide open. Open. and we like to think that GB does have a chance of getting at least a medal and actually if you look at their path if, if things go well tonight we should have a good good route through to the final and that means a silver at best uh, at worst so fingers crossed well Joe there was a bit of controversy about the national anthem tonight a lot of people calling on everybody to respect it I mean presumably you go along with it oh I'd like it we were in the pub earlier and the national anthem was sung and I think everyone just gets in the mood it's really fun so exactly everyone's just happy to be here so let the spirit run wild I yeah, think okay thanks guys thanks Thank very much you. indeed so that's it from the Millennium Stadium kickoff not too far away and the fans really getting into it